Hello people of YouTube land, welcome to my computer room tour. Right, first before we get into the video, I'd like to give a mention quick to our sponsor, which is me, and that is my t-shirts. Fast and old. Click the link below for Teespring, buy as many as you can because I want to be rich. I don't want to be making videos like this for the rest of my life. And I just want to live on a beach somewhere, a millionaire. So go get yourself a fast and old t-shirt, okay? Right. For now let's get into the video right so this is it this is my games room this is where i do my editing this is where i play sim racing and also do work on a computer now i've had this for about a year maybe something like that so if you'd asked me a year ago what's inside the pc i wouldn't have been able to have helped you very much with the information i didn't know nothing about computers slowly i'm coming up to spec i'm learning so now i'll be able to explain some things of what we got in there uh, I'll talk you through what screens I've got and about my little sim rig and now I've got a Fiesta seat to fit onto my cockpit. So the first thing we'll do, we'll run through what the actual PC is because I'm sure some of you are gamers interested in PCs and you might want to know the specs of what's inside so I'll try my best to tell you. This was built by Rowan. I did do a quick video when I first had it. Since then the room has all been changed around. Um, quickly, on that note, let me just tell you something. I think in the video I done a long time ago, the room was positioned that way. Everything's a lot different. And my daughter who's 13, asked if she could decorate all this room and design it. So this is kind of all her work. But what that has meant, I used to have car pictures up here. Now I can't because it's got a clock. And I bought that, which is a nice uh, print on the canvas. And I want to put that up there. But... She won't let me. I'm not allowed. So that's just stuck behind the TV because apparently it ruins the theme of what she had going on here. So she hasn't done a bad job designing it. Actually, once I'm finished on the computer, I usually have a little play on my Barbies here. But that's another subject. Back to the PC. Right. Rowan built this. Uh, I'll run you through some of the specs of what's inside. Now, from what I can remember, it has got uh, an MSI. I think it's the A. 390z a pro motherboard on that then we have got 32 gigabytes of ram originally only had 16 because of the skin flint i didn't want to spend much money i recently upgraded that myself also we've got an i5 cpu it's the 9600k which has been brilliant done the job perfectly well for gaming and for editing my videos then we've got um is it an m.2 SSD, like I said, I'm learning. I don't understand all these things, but I'm learning. So we've got a 480 gig SSD in there. I've since added a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive. I don't know myself because I'm kind of getting clever. I upgraded the RAM. I went from 16 to 32 because we had one 16 stick in the beginning. That was because I was cutting corners on money. So Rowan said, put one 16 in, you can upgrade to 32. So about eight, nine months later, that's what I did. I had to have a little bit of help off Rowan with that setting that up because I did end up getting the blue screen, but that's another issue. So that's the um, the the main component. So also we got a Be Quiet Cooler. We got a 600 watt um, power supply. And the graphics card is one I bought off Rowan. All the parts were brand new, except for the graphics card. Rowan was upgrading, so I had his GTX. 970 i'm soon to be upgrading that if you know the 30 series are out i really want a 3070 which comes out in a couple of weeks chances of me getting one's going to be slim i might have to wait a while but i really would love to have a 3070 in that so that's what's going to be going in when they become available if i can get one so i originally started on this monitor which is just a samsung 32 inch curved um and that, that was fine i could game on that fine it's only 60 hertz so 60 frames per second was the best i could get and it was all right and the only problem i had was when the computer setup was here originally i'd have to move the tv across to go from sim racing to just general computing work which is a nightmare so i then bought this which is the msi now there's the code for it as you can see there so this is 165 hertz one millisecond monitor and uh that does the job nicely. I can run that at over 100 frames per second at the moment, and that's been uh, doing the job pretty good for me. So, 
But I'm not in ultra or high settings, I don't think. I think I'm mostly medium, some low. So I'd love to get that right up high and run the full 165 frames. So that's what the graphics card will allow me to do. Right, so that's the computer stuff covered. I have got a wireless Logitech keyboard uh, and all littles, I think this wireless mouse is from. Also, I when I play flight sim, you see I've done a couple of flight sim videos. I've got two on there. Uh, I play them on this side and I use an Xbox controller. And do you know what, to address a point, you're probably thinking, oh, Steve's running out of content, now he's making computer videos because he's got nothing to do on his car. Well, I have got plenty to do on the car, but I just haven't been very motivated. I'm taking a break, so I'll be back onto it soon. Car stuff will be coming back, so this is just a little bit of a timeout thing. Right, so moving on to my sim cockpit rig. Now, this is a GT Amiga Racing cockpit. This was the art cockpit. I don't think this is available now. I think they've done away with it. I bought that bay, just the frame, and then I put my Fiesta seat on it. And what I did was, I just had some steel rails. Let's see if I slide this back. I just had some steel bar, drilled it out to fit, and put the seat on. And the good thing about it is all the functions work. So I can jack it up as it would with the Fiesta seat. Not, not that I do, but if the kids want to go on it. Slide it forward, I can recline it, I can basically do everything that you would do in the car. It's been really good. Right, so now on to the steering wheel and pedals. This is the T300 RS from Thrustmaster, but it's the GT edition. So you get the T3PA uh, pedals with the uh, clutch pedal. Although I'm not really a type of racer who uses a clutch pedal, I tend to just left foot brake, so I drive like a go-kart. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator. And when I'm mostly playing that, I'll have my headphones on there. Other than that, I've got a soundbar for the sound of this, because the one thing with this monitor, there's no inbuilt speakers because it's a gaming monitor. This one does have inbuilt speakers, so when I play with Flight Sim or whatever, you just have the sound come through that. Right, so I think that pretty much covers everything, really. Um, if I've left anything out, then it's too late. It's not going to make it into the cut. But uh, there you are. So this is how I spend some of my free time. And uh, it's a nice little place for the kids to play around. Sit on a chair, come watch. And uh, see, just enjoy myself. Sometimes working on the car can get a bit too much sometimes and everybody needs a break. Don't I? So this is where I unwind. Right. That's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.